Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been on the minds of many in the currency investment community or whether all currencies, such as the Iraqi dinar, IQD, and the Vietnamese dong, are going to float or be pegged to assets. Recently, Intel Gur Marx addressed this very question and his insights offer some clarity. Marx was asked directly if we should expect all currencies, including the IQD and the Dong, to float. His response was quite revealing and insightful. He pointed out that we should not anticipate much of a float for these currencies because there is a significant plan in place for them to be pegged to assets. To unpack this, let's first discuss what it means for a currency to float versus being pegged to assets. A floating currency means that its value is determined by the forex market, based on supply and demand dynamics relative to other currencies. This can lead to significant volatility and fluctuations in value, as seen with major currencies like the US dollar or the euro, which are subject to market conditions, geopolitical events, and economic indicators. On the other hand, a currency pegged to assets means its value is tied to specific physical or financial assets. Historically, this has often meant gold or other precious metals, but it could also include a basket of commodities or a country's tangible economic assets. Pegging a currency to assets aims to provide stability and predictability, reducing the extreme fluctuations seen in floating currencies. Marx suggests that the IQD and the Dong are expected to follow the latter route. This implies a significant shift towards asset-backed currencies, which many believe will bring about a more stable global financial system. This system could potentially reduce the risk of inflation and currency manipulation, providing a more equitable and balanced economic landscape. Now, why is this important? Many investors have been closely watching the IQD and the Dong speculating on potential revaluations. The idea of these currencies being pegged to assets rather than floating freely could fundamentally alter the investment strategies and expectations. If these currencies are indeed pegged to assets, we could see a more gradual and controlled appreciation in value, as opposed to wild market-driven swings. This approach aligns with a broader global financial reset narrative where there's a move towards more stable and reliable economic systems. Countries rich in natural resources, like Iraq with its oil reserves and Vietnam with its growing industrial base, are well positioned to back their currencies with tangible assets. This would enhance their economic sovereignty and reduce reliance on foreign currencies like the US dollar. Furthermore, pegging currencies to assets could foster greater investor confidence, knowing that a currency's value is anchored to real. Measurable assets provides a safety net against market volatility and speculative attacks. This could attract more foreign direct investment into these countries, bolstering their economies and contributing to sustained growth. In conclusion, while the idea of floating currencies may seem appealing for the potential of rapid gains, the reality presented by Marx suggests a more stable and sustainable approach through asset-backed currencies. As we move forward, Keeping an eye on how these developments unfold will be crucial for investors and anyone interested in the global financial landscape. So, stay tuned for more updates and insights as we continue to explore these fascinating and evolving topics. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, stay informed and make wise investments.